Hey everybody, it's Crazy Fan Girl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're gonna be continuing uh, with the episodes of Legends of Vox Machina. It is episode eight, Echo Tree. So we're gonna be continuing with that. Um, we're not gonna wait too long because obviously we know what's gonna happen. We're going to see Singorn in the Fey Realm, and also we're gonna still be dealing with Grog's um, issue. <laughs> so let's just jump straight into it. Remember as usual to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, um, but also to keep up to date with all my, all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Whoa. We're almost through. Just a few more blocks and we're <gasps> fucked. Outsiders, state your names and purpose. We seek an audience with Ambassador Vassar. His children. Oh, oh. Oh shit, so that's actually happening in this one. I didn't think it would. This might play out a little bit different from the campaign from memory, but anyway. Be honest. Do I look like I come from nobility? <laughs> it's easy to act noble. Just be a bit of a shit and wear what everyone else is wearing. Oh, yes! People with money and titles. They are definitely not worth you. Oh, sorry, that was from, like, the campaign word for word. It was so good. Who are you talking to, Mum? Oh. Oh, right. You haven't met Valori. I love your feather. Oh. Fix Alia. Then it's yours. A gift from your half-sister. I missed the chance to meet you. Uh, a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> Will he? Oh. Perhaps I'll be gracing us with your presence. He looks like a... He looks- that was like the biggest stank face I've seen in animation in so long. Looks like- Like, <laughs> it reminds me of like so many like, people I know too, so- <laughs> I don't have any! Wilhelm! Oh, you! Oh. Like Look at you, dear. Real vestments. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, Wilhelm. <laughs> Grog! Did you forget to eat? Why are you here? To dispatch the very dragons that chased you away, sir. And you are? Percival Frederick Stein von Musokolowski <laughs> de Rolla III of the Royal House of Whitestone. <laughs> well then, Lord, you should be proud. Your son and daughter are leading the fight against the Chroma Conclave. Oh, you needn't spin false tales of their exploits. Have you any idea the burden your sudden arrival has caused my family? Your family? If you can offer us oh, any assistance, thanks. we would be most grateful. It's the least I can do. <sighs> the smug family. Smug. Ain't going down the front side flapper trap. Oh. Oh. Uh, allow me. I know how to work both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> friends, wherever they are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be thinking of you, little one. Oh. It's Lady Vexalia. Lady. Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. Yes! Do watch your manners towards a noble. <laughs> Again, no appreciation for my years of civility. Oh, you expect me to feel sorry for you? Yes, Vex. Out of Which is more than I can say about you as a father. Oh, shut up! Until then. I hope it didn't upset you, Vex. It's Lady Vex. <laughs> I may have wits in class, but I'll never have what you do. A pure heart. It's so special, Vex. And no one can take it away. I made something for you. Clear your heads! Fuck it out! <laughs> The shade mark is home to a cursed arch fee named Sondor, but as long as you don't submit to his voice, his sadness won't turn you. Oh no, Vex. Oh no. For your strength to come back, well, your body's gonna need a kickstart. Some significant stimulation. I gotta stimulate myself? <laughs> okay. No! Real mixed messages here. My body is no more <laughs> Oh God! Oh no! No 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 no! But the someone grab her! I await Dion. Oh Vex! Don't see Camille again. Unwanted daughter. 
Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh, no! No, Vex, no! Oh, good. Oh! Oh, no. No, don't listen to him. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Vex. No, 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 no. No, Vex. Fix you. Make you whole again. Fix you. Oh, God. Yes. We all know who's hot and belongs to. Run, Vex. Careful, that might be poison. Oh, my God. Come on, Keyleth! Nice! <laughs> Fire elemental go! Oh! <gasps> that was so cool! Oh, you do not. How dare you? Don't use lightning arrows, it's not fair! Oh no! Are as empty as your corrupted heart. Yes, Vex! Oh god. You got it! She is worthy! Shin, family shame. I distinctly remember you saying we'd never see you again. Yes. Yeah. How the fuck? You have given me more entertainment in the last two dusks than I've had for millennia. What are you? Really? Excellent question, Fancy Pants, but I'm afraid it'll have to wait until the next time. <gasps> Travel safe, friends. <laughs> Stay alive. Man! Oh my god, that's our target! <laughs> For vestiges, Myth Carver showed me those gauntlets, remember? In the city? Shit. Mm. Western. I know who has them. Rog? What's wrong? Those gauntlets belong to my uncle. He killed me with them. Oh shit, yeah! Oh, oh that episode had everything. Um just because yeah, this was the t that now everything's slowly coming back because this is the time, like this whole era is like when all the love stories start to slowly come together. So good, but yeah, Percy and Vex. Oh, loved them in this episode. Oh my god! And yeah, just there's so much from the actual like campaign, like wording. I love that they kept it the same. But I also like the changes that they made because I'm pretty sure people can remind me of this. But I'm pretty sure they went to the Fey Realm as a group and they saw the dad as a group. Um, they didn't. They weren't separated. But I, in a way, I do like that. They've made those changes to the story. I focus on Vex, especially because of her, like, insecurity, like, in terms of, like, not being, like, I guess, like, her insecurity is, like, not being, I guess, loved or, like, appreciated, I guess, by people, especially her father. And so it was really heartbreaking for, like, that, um, what is it called? Arch Fae to take advantage of her in that way. Blech, is gross, but also just like, oh, like I'm glad that she fought back and she fought against it. Because obviously, like, she at first was like, oh my god, like, the father, like, this false image of her father was giving her the love that she's always wanted from her father. Um, but then she was like, no, stop. <laughs> and I do love that, yeah, like, she got the final blow with, like, that little thing that Percy gave her. And also, just like, my heart belongs to someone else. It's just, oh. So good, so good, perfect. And now, yeah, just with the cliffhanger, sort of cliffhanger, I guess. For me it wasn't, but like, I know what's gonna happen now, but the focus now is slowly going back to Grog, and that's what I love, because this next part is like, oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen next episode, but there's a lot of stuff with Grog that in the next part is like my favourite. It's so good, and just... I'm excited to see what happens, um, and how they sort of handled the storyline with him. Also, our target was there. Oh my god. Like, I can't, like, yeah. I 
Um, for those episodes, like, I can't even remember if, like, Vox Machina actually met Artagon, but Artagon is such a big part of, like, the lore of Critical Role in, like, their campaigns, so <laughs> he's pretty great. <laughs> um, so it was great to, like, see him in, in animation form. That was beautiful. And Matt, but yeah, let's go to the next episode because I'm super excited and there's going to be so much more cool, amazing lore that we're going to dive into, so... <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!